To our highly esteemed father of the province of Ilang Sur, the Honorable Jerry Singson. To our beloved president of the Divine Word College of Vigan, Reverend Father Edsel R. Emilio SVD. To our vice president for finance, Reverend Father Elmer Loreto SVD. The deans and program heads of the different colleges, directors and heads of the different offices, faculty members, staff, proud parents, guests, fellow graduates, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is an immense pleasure to greet you all in this momentous event. This is it. The long wait is over. And yes, this feeling that envelops us now is truly inebriating. Congratulations, fellow graduates of 2023. Victoriously, we have come this far. Our travel to this day was exigent. It was obscured with universal glitches that finger pointed to an increased uncertainties in our quest to embrace the treasure of tomorrow. The world was rocked with the pandemic and everything slowed down. The government has to raise a protective verge and declare lockdown. And everyone, every family was left to find recourse as conditions worsened. That was a terrifying experience. And yes, the education sector didn't escape the pangs of the pandemic. While modules in addition to online classes were given to aid us battle for certainty, we have been left to master the lessons in many ways within beneficial. We have to endeavor to discern beyond lines, and we were exhausted and stressed with the bulk of online requirements given. Learning was really intensely difficult, and all of us had been hoping that the academic face-to-face -face abeyance would end and we'll be back to classroom once again. We prayed so hard that despite the situation in the world, we would earn our degrees and graduate in person. Thanks God we're here, here in this Grand Farmer Center to celebrate this momentous event. Thanks to our administrators for giving us this venue. Thanks also to the generous heart of our good governor, the Honorable Jerry Simpson. I recall it was mid-2013 when I first entered into a reputable institution, the Divine Word College of Vigan. If I were to look back into my early beginning as a freshman student, I was uncertain in many aspects. I was cynical of my capabilities. But then one of my relatives verbalized that my approach to college must be directed to a higher goal. I was made to understand that it must be faced with certainty, for it is definitive of my future. I then battled with my self-doubt and so embraced a positive mindset and advanced on self-directed learning. Of course, the process was never easy, but slowly, the more I thought positively, and took initiative for learning, such as selecting, managing, and assessing my own learning activities, the more I attracted grand things into my life. I welcomed chances of development by engaging myself in co-curricular activities, and it truly fueled and stimulated my creative thoughts, improved my social and leadership skills, developed my interests and talents, 
and gave me the chance to switch off and do something I really enjoyed, like scribbling lines on papers. I just noticed that I was becoming relaxed with the way things were until it became part of my system. A jolt of certainty in my life as a student. My goal to succeed became clear, enough to keep me pushing myself, striving to do more, being better, and getting ahead. For how can we not be so sure of our future if right from the very portal of our school waves air of positiveness, of certainty? Have you noticed the line? Through this gate shall pass the future leaders and successful citizens of the nation. I was starstruck by that quote, and shall I just say that in the long run, it underpinned my attitude in learning. That ennobling line was enough to keep my spirit high every time I entered the gate. It's a prompt of the intent of being in school. My yearning to finish my course or my degree grew intensely each passing day. I set some baselines for myself to increase my odds of winning, of realizing success in my endeavors. True, hard work pays in many ways. To achieve something, it has to start somewhere. At times, with little things. Constantly, we have to cling and leave it out. Like a seed planted on the ground, we need to water and cultivate it so that its growth would advance and yield to a worthy end. A writer once said, never give up on your dream because you never know which is destined to manifest. There is no law of attraction. There is only law of action. Catch fun, but remember to catch goals firstly. I admit, being in control of a dream is never easy. It's mind-wrecking. And it happened many times in my journey, in my studies. But my admission that I can be in control of all things that my vision on what to happen because circumstances in the world are never steady had led me to open up for a better recourse of battling and of achieving. I firmly concur with the saying that a bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of the branch breaking because her trust is not on the branch but on its own wings. The adage has taught me so well in my traverse of learning. Tell me, my fellow graduates, is writing and defending a thesis or a capstone project uncomplicated? Uh-huh. We were apprehensive not only on how to analyze and interpret the data, but also in our use of syntax. Though how much the credible panel tribunal disburden us in our turbulence inside by the calming airs, facing them was like waiting for an explosive device to burst, and we have to put on our shield to press us out of those civil wars in us. And who was jolted among us graduates in the teacher ed when we crafted our instructional plan? delivered it with the students in the presence of critics and experts during our last day of internship. We all turned every single stone aside to perfect our time-tested pedagogy to pass the ordeal of becoming a teacher. And for the College of Criminology graduates, will you forget how you've trembled like a candle flame to anticipate your commander's order, to squat or double your effort for an erroneous execution of an activity during your training? And while I saw with my own eyes how you celebrated with joy 
to see you pass your forensic subject at the end of the semester, I also witnessed some among you who were dispirited after receiving a mark otherwise. Your excitement, this HTM graduates, to prepare a once-in-a-lifetime menu in your international cuisine was truly a breathless experience. But for sure, some among you have received a question mark and a cringe face from your chef instructor after tasting your carte de jour. And how many times had you played chess to checkmate your instructors in programming, IT graduates? And yes, your feasibility study requirement must have reached the new moon before finally you've caught the sunrise in your operation management ordeal, BSBA graduates. Those were turbulent times in our studies. Pero ang galing, ano? We made it. And dito na tayo ngayon. Meaning to say, game over and we are the champions. Agree? Alright. We might have been some wobbly experiences with our fellows, oftentimes in group projects and activities. We might have been frustrated at times with our expectations with some things, but you see, there's always a good reason to celebrate. For even in those we call it wrong have led us to this point. And I am more than convinced that it was in those nerve-wracking and challenging moments that we've learned the most. Thomas Godfrey says, the more the diamond is cut, the brighter it sparkles. And in what seems hard dealing, their God has no end in view, has to perfect its people. Fellow graduates, this special day befits an honor and appreciation to our teachers for their distinct contribution in our formation. They have given us purpose, set us up for success as citizens of the world, and inspired in us a drive to do well and succeed in life. We are the leaders of tomorrow, and our teachers are the critical point that made us ready into our coming role in the society. Dear teachers, we might have studied all your notes, your books and your PowerPoint presentations. We might have listened and learned so much from your lectures, but not to forget your sermons once in a while. But honestly, it's your care and your company that we treasure the most. Our dear and beloved parents and guardians, the role you played in our success is immeasurable. We might have worked hard, taken risks, and sacrificed in our studies, but yours must have been the hardest. It's hard to believe that our and your happiest moment has finally come. Without you in our lives, we would not be wearing this academic gown. Without you in our lives, nothing should have been achieved. Today, we offer everything to you. We give you the joy, the pride, the honor you deserve. The degree we earned, the diploma, and awards accorded to us are for you. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagmamahal at paggabay ninyo sa amin. Maraming maraming salamat at nagtagumpay kayo para sa amin. What a stewardship indeed you've done to get us your children this far. Fellow graduates, let us all stand and salute our parents by giving them a warm round of applause. Salamat po 
sa inyo lahat. Thank you. Let us all be seated. And of course, this milestone is primarily for us graduates. Ang gaan sa kalooban that finally, after many years, we have attained success. It's just like reaching a very clear pool after a long travel from the abyss and drinking fresh water from it. Yes, it's refreshing. It's so calming. Thankfully, the Divine Word College of Vigan has allowed us to go through a curriculum of Christ-likeness so that the fullness of our knowledge of our learnings be rooted into our hearts and acts and that the development of our lives can be broader and richer by including virtuous behavior and things above. My fellow graduates, as we bid adieu to our dear alma mater, let us not lose sight of the core values. Every one of us, every divinian, was governed and formed. We were taught to live in accordance to sound values. We pray that our leadership of tomorrow will not be clouded with the temptations the world offers. Rather, may we be grounded with honesty and strong moral principle or uprightness. When we live up to a genuine adherence to this ethical principle, we cultivate trust, cooperation, and respect in our relationships, both personal and professional in the workplace. That's the value of integrity. Let us not also forget the value of social responsibility. It should bring us to having empathy to our neighbors, to work for the benefit of the community, exercising selflessness, whoever we become, wherever we may be. May we not forget to care for the community, the society, and the world at large. Unfailingly, let us remain loyal and faithful, semper fidelis, to our adherence to what is right, to what is noble, and to our calling. The course we have chosen to tread on, for it is our mission. And regardless of whatever extenuating circumstances there may be, May we remain loyal to the ideals of the gospel values we've learned throughout our formation. As graduates in a Catholic evangelizing institution, may our light shine in the lampstand so that in our simple way, we can be a beacon of inspiration into every human situation. Continuously, let us convert ourselves to Christ through a deeper personal daily prayer, regular participation in the sacraments, and an active participation in our church communities. In that way, we live out to be an evangelizing person, a true divinian. Let us strive to be a positive influencer, a sensitive or empathetic individual. We strive to be a person of excellence. Let's crown our goals in the future with dedication and standard of truth. May our words, labors, and actions be clothed with greatness, quality, and distinction for the better glory of God. Integrity, social responsibility, Loyalty or semper fidelis, evangelization and excellence. These are the values that were deeply ingrained in us and may they henceforth forever reverberate in our journey to the future. Today, as we close our book of orientation and acquisition, tomorrow we begin another series. This time, 
It would be a narrative of a man and his society. It would be a story in bed with how we live out the dream we have achieved that would impact every life at home, family, and community. A life that faces the world with purpose. Fellow graduates, let us remember that only us can decide how to face the world and how we want to live life to the fullest. But all must start somewhere. It begins with how certain we set our foot into the purview. The world may be harsh, may be unwelcoming at times, but despite the butterflies in our thoughts, we need to move forward with our advocacy to get to the bottom of the coming, of attaining a purposive life. Amidst the hassle and bustle of a busy world, let us not forget to spend time in quiet and rest. In Him alone, we gain strength and wisdom. In that way, we become the people the world must need. Hence, I wish you all the favorable things this dynamic world could offer. May our path be always lighted and directed to the adherence of a good cause. I pray a future for all of us to be brighter and bolder. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, fellow graduates, this has been James Vincent C. Roxa of the College of Teacher Education saying, Mabuhay ang mga DWCD graduates batch 2023. Thank you and props to you all. Thank you so much, James. Now, Dr.